How do you conclude therapy when one person has detached? How do you recognize detachment? Then how do you help them express that they're out? And how to hold the partner as they process and receive the message? These are agonizing sessions and so hard. Tolerating the harrowing, right, Jen? Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. Good, yeah. Yeah. So detachment shows up in different ways. And sometimes the client just tells you. In other cases, we have to wonder when we're not getting traction or when we feel stuck, if there's growing ambivalence in one partner's heart about their love for the other, or there's growing detachment. And I said to a client last week, I don't know you guys, but I guess I feel worried that something shifted. Mm -hmm. Have your hearts changed towards each other in terms of this process or your marriage? What am I missing? And he pretty quickly said, nothing's changed for me. I'm in this. And she paused and paused. There's no quick way to suss out detachment. You're just in the process with them and you're feeling along with them until you realize you don't know what they're feeling about the other or the process is in some way stuck or the process feels different than how it used to feel and you're tracking that over time. So there's no magic way to know if someone's detached or detaching except the data that we're regularly collecting about their depth of emotional experiencing and them letting you come close to their pain and then can they follow your lead to their pain. And then when they can't or don't, you have to wonder about all the reasons why they are not letting you work intrapsychically with them. You just ask them. As brave as I felt myself being and as risky as it feels to ask at a certain point, again, I need to know what we're working towards. None of us want to do harm, right? Our primary ethics is to do no harm. Some might feel like that's too big of a question to ask. Of course it is in certain circumstances. But if one partner's heart has changed and they actually need your help to bring it into the room, then your courage as a clinician, that's why we get paid the big bucks, is to find our courage to find gentle ways to speak what has not yet been speakable. So it could go either way. We never know if it's going to feel supportive or scary. Well, and I guess we we trust the model. We trust EFT. So it's working Mm -hmm. if there are no blocks. And then if it's not working, that means there is a hidden block. And we're sort of feeling our way in the dark to find it. And one hidden block could be detachment. And so let's say someone says, I don't know if I love my, my wife anymore. I don't yeah. know if I love her and I don't know if I want this marriage to last. How do you as a clinician help hold the, the receiver of that message? And then do you keep seeing the couple as they receive this like soul crushing message? We do what we do best, which is we turn up our empathy and our attunement and we come alongside each partner. That's very brave of you to say, I am not sure how you're feeling, but I'll come back to you because my first instinct is to go to your partner. How is your heart? What's happening for you? And to catch the reaction and to help them catch that message that they just heard from their partner, that it's a deal breaking message. And the bottom just fell out and you're going to catch them in their fall and you're going to tumble with them. And you go closer to them to join with them in their tumbling while you maybe splice in some, your partner just said something really brave. It took all kinds of courage. You two are good people. We're going to find our way through this good people. That's just said something really hard to share. Heartbreaking for both of you. We're going to process, we're going to work our way through this. And then that becomes the new priority of a few sessions, a handful of sessions is processing the echoes and what this means to them. Because then people are, the the partners are going to need to go away and come back and tell you what meaning they've made and what clarity they have and what clarity they don't have. And as soon as I said, I think we're done and I can't stay in this marriage, maybe it was just cathartic to say it. And then I felt more love come to my heart. So I don't really know what I meant. Okay. Like who knows what the echoes of that statement will be. It's kind of like the one who's tumbling, I feel metaphorically, like it's like a a, a much closer arm around them. Whereas the one who just shared it, my arm is extended. And so it's like, you can't see me, but it's, it's, it's just metaphorically feels like I'm holding both, but in different ways. Yeah. It makes sense. And yeah. Yeah. Right. For more hot tips on emotionally focused therapy, go to theeftcafe.com and sign up for our newsletter where you will receive short little clips like the one you just watched.